Calling all urban chicken keepers. The Food Policy Council of San Antonio is looking for chicken coops to be featured on its second annual San Antonio Chicken Walk Coop Tour. Here to tell us all about everything this morning is Mitch Hackney, the president of the Food Policy Council of San Antonio. Good morning. You just don't look like a chicken guy. <laughs> well, there's chicken folks all over the place now. Really? <laughs> it turns out in San Antonio, there's a long tradition of backyard chicken owning. Uh -huh. And uh, now a huge, huge number, uh, we think over 5,000 homes have access to, to some amount of backyard chickens. And so a lot of people don't exactly know how they're gonna raise them or exactly what, uh, what, what the, the tactics are in order to get the best eggs and which, uh, which hens and which coops to, to choose. So mm -hmm. that's the reason we created this tour. Um, two years ago, our organization increased the legal number of chickens you can have from three to eight in the city. So congratulations and good luck with that. Everybody can have, if you want to be a chicken owner in the city limits, you can have eight chickens? Eight chickens per household is the rule now. Okay, so tell me this thing. I kind of associated with my mind chicken raising as being like a rural activity. So it has become now a metro thing? Well, so you don't need a lot of space in order to grow chickens. You need just a little coop area and a little area for them to walk around. So a backyard is perfect. They don't, they're not free Roman buffalo. You know, they just kind of want to be close to home. What's also nice is that because each chicken produces on average about an egg a day once the hens are mature, it really is a good way to provide good sustainable protein sources and, and a really fun activity for the kids in the backyard. And is that it, the purpose again of your event is to, to, to do what? Are you trying to recruit more people, educate more people? So we want to recruit any backyard chicken owners now. Uh, we want you to be on our tour if you're interested. And we'd love to bring some folks to see your spot and the way that your chickens get by. But also we want to bring in uh, as many um, attendees as possible so that if you're interested in chickens or if you're just uh, uh, kind of looking around for something interesting to do, come and see as many different coops as you can. And so if I'm on the tour, I get an opportunity to talk to someone who's raising. I can ask them all kinds of questions. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to go to the coop itself and there's all sorts of different ones. There's really, uh, really advanced and real fancy coops, but there's also kind of more down home recycled material type coops and all the different uh, chicken owners who are on the tour, they're, they're wanting to talk to as many attendees as they can. And um, hopefully a lot of folks will learn a lot about how to raise their chickens. Oh, so you, you have eight chickens? <laughs> I don't have any, but I do help out a number of folks in my neighborhood. Uh -huh. um, there are chickens all over the place, uh, and if you go to the east or the west side in particular, you'll hear the rooster calls and you'll know. Oh, I know the rooster calls. I've, <laughs> I've got, I heard them early in the morning. Here's the information for you on their, your TV screen there. The San Antonio Chicken Walk Coop Tour. It's a self-guided tour. Uh, for more information, there's the, inf uh, the information is there on the screen for you. The Coop Tour is on April 13th from 9.30 until 2. This is the second annual one. We're really excited. We had uh, about 200 people attend last year and we're hoping to break that record this year. Okay, I'm gonna invite you back next year and you know what I want you to do, right? You want me to bring a chicken? I want you to bring <laughs> chickens. <laughs> I will do that. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, so much, Mitch. We've got more news coming up.